Welcome ladies and gentlemen, so here is something that I didn't expect. I knew it would be coming, I watched a little bit of the rumors and at some point I contacted the developer and he confirmed, yeah, the developer for the original, yes, it is under development. Now, I will say something, partially nobody from the original development team is working on this. Let's watch the trailer. First time in New York. Yes, I really love it. Holy shit! After the Chernobyl explosion, subsequent detonations are being recorded on almost all continents. The latest news also reports of first explosions in the United States, in the cities of New York, Los Angeles, and Boston. The explosions have been confirmed. Oh, oh, Good morning, Mr. Reeves. The criminal intelligence organization, the Cabal, is responsible for the attacks. I don't like this. Sabotage their activities. We've located three of Cabal's spies. Confront them. Your first goal is one of the scientists at the Chernobyl disaster. Identify him and procure information about the Cabal. Eliminate the target. We are not the bad guys for fuck's sake. Two is Kana Sato in Tokyo. A professional assassin. Get close to the target and spy on her to unmask her plan. The music is a little bit of weird though. Be extremely careful with her. Like the cinema scenes. You look for as John Perkins. Your third role, Cabal's mole in the agency. Find him in Sao Paulo. Eliminate the target and steal his identity. Start in Miami. You'll meet our contact regarding crew and equipment. If the mission is compromised, resulting in your or any other crew member's death, all knowledge of your mission. Oh, the van! I love the van. Good luck. interesting out of everything let me t tell you something uh, I kind of don't like the fact that the Cabal is the bad guys on the game and I have a I watched the trailer before and I'm not gonna lie it didn't so I didn't touch this tin page yet the game, the gameplay feels strangely, strange, really different. Here it is. We have the Steam page now. Okay, so the word of uh, Phantom Doctrine, the Cabal to work out the dangerous terrorist organization. We are not terrorists, for fuck's sake. In various locations around the globe, from inside a rainforest, secluded. Oh, wait, what? Is... Huh. Third person shooter? Okay, let's get a- let's give a little bit of a read about this. This one is the same there. Get ready for exciting espionage trailer. Okay. Time will be your mission will be infiltrating Cabal. I don't like this because we were the Cabal in the first game, so we would like to know why that shit happened. But mm. alternative version. That, okay. New modes of gameplay allow you to gain completely a new experience for the game. <laughs> From the third... Yeah, it became a third-person shooter? <sighs> Do we gonna have base management? At least? Let's see. Look, I'll be 100% honest here. If... If, and that's a big if, I I don't, let's not read, let's not give me the option to read before. 
like down the thing. Okay, if the thing is, you can only use one agent per mission, and you take full control of the agent, and you go and do the mission, but you still have the entire control of the agency, like the cell, in the same way. And for example, even a, that would be a cool switch. We start uh, going against the Cabal, and in the same way that we did uh, end up going on against the Beholder, we end up going against the, the, the agency. I would be fine, because I really don't want to go against the Cabal. I fucking build the Cabal from the ground up. But okay, let's give it a read. It says single player campaign over 15 hours. That's fair. My campaign did that. View from third person, don't care. Like I said, if that is the case, I don't care. A larger uh, number of missions in, in various locations, I don't care. Technical pause, okay. Choose an agent for each mission. Control danger in the game. But that's what I said. Uh, if it is like, oh, we maintain the main. I still like a good third person game, so if it is that, I would be uh fine. It's it's fair. Increase your your chance of successful. Goddamn, I can't speak today. Increase your chances of success by infiltrating mission location. Help of secret agents. Always try one step ahead. So maybe because you could utilize the during the world map uh missions to help you. So maybe. You still have the war map, but uh, I don't know. I don't like that wholeheartedly shift from thing. Increase your chance. Okay, that's what we just said. Stay tuned. Stay in the shadows. Okay. Control a key counterintelligence organization. Recruit agents from C from the KGB, CAA, criminal on the world. Yeah, that's the thing. That was Cabal. Do we gonna go against? Do we gonna be members of the Beholder? Huh. Use information we already had. Techniques. Changing clothes. New method. Okay. This is cool, with a wide range of mechanics that can allow you to go through the game very in different ways. Each mission matters, uh, okay. Not much here, of course. Uh, visit the game website. Hey, Stain, I'm trying. Huh. I use that art. On my tabletop campaign. <laughs> yeah, there isn't nothing about it. Let me just quickly check Twitter on my phone. Because, by God, I don't know. Uh, Yeah, even Twitter don't know. <laughs> and they had a reasonably good presence on Twitter. Which doesn't make me very happy. I'm gonna let the trailer roll for a while, but I want to talk. So, the thing is, I got in contact with someone from the development team from the old game. When the rumors more or less start uh, begin before this trailer were announced, a little bit before, uh, we already had like Creative Forge talking about it. Uh, let me put in this full screen. Uh, Creative Forge put a little bit of a running. They kind of more or less wanted to start that. Like they push. How can I say? Uh. They pushed for it. They were hiring new people to work on it. And yeah, 
I'm going to say the same. It's a little bit of a bittersweet. Because I, impartially, I really want to a sequel. I love this game. I love the first game. And there was a lot of charm on it. There was a lot of good things on the game. And he said, well, if you dig up on the news, you're going to notice, I'm paraphrasing here, that a lot of the people left the company. Now, partially, I'm okay. If in the end, the thing is, you're going to be... They going to change the tactical gameplay, the third person gameplay for a third person shooter, a uh, Hitman style. I will be. I'm, I trying to say I'm trying to stay calm to like oh, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be cool. There's no problem, but I, I'm gonna miss a lot because I prefer. I really love the tactical gameplay. Second, uh, I'm not, I don't know, I like the Cabal, I have a personal attachment for it, I built it from scrap, from scratch, I create that shit, so I don't want to destroy it. So yeah, that's it ladies and gentlemen, Cabal, uh, Buntun Doctrine 2, the Cabal. Uh, no release date yet. Let me confirm that on Steam here. Yeah, release date still like top secret. If I get any information, sure, I' going to be saying to everyone because I love the first game. But here we go. That's it. See you guys next time. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. This was the video. If you enjoyed, leave it a like. If you didn't, leave it a dislike. If you have anything to say, please leave a comment. And if you want to see what the hell is going to be coming next on this mess, subscribe. And see you guys on the next episode.